Crimea is ours. This popular Russian slogan appeared 10 years ago when Vladimir Putin announced the peninsula was returning to, quote, its native harbor. Russians are certain that residents of Crimea made their choice at a Kremlin-backed referendum in 2014. It was reunification with Russia, definitely, and an uh, important point some from historical perspective. Well, in Russia we love history, of course, so Russia been fighting for Crimea with Turkey during um, this um, historical times for 300 years. So it means it's our historical right. The construction of the Kerch Bridge, which connected the peninsula with mainland Russia, was a physical representation of the renewed ties. On the 10th anniversary of the reunification, a huge concert took place in Red Square. Vladimir Putin appeared at the event, accompanied by his three rivals at the presidential elections. After unleashing an armed conflict in 2022, Russia is fighting for more Ukrainian territory. As for Novorossiya, as for Donbass, people living there also declared their desire to return to their family in the days of the Russian spring. Their journey home turned out to be much more difficult and tragic. But still we did it, and this is also a big event in the history of our state. Ten years on and Crimea hasn't fully integrated into Russia, not least because of the Western sanctions. Independent sources report the salaries of Crimean residents are 20 to 30 percent less than the national average in Russia. Vladimir Putin initially promised that three languages, Russian, Ukrainian and Crimean Tatar, would have equal status, but in practice people are discouraged to speak Ukrainian, something that may lead to growing discontent and more silenced voices by authorities. Yulia Shapovalova, Al Jazeera, Moscow. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.